Uh, welcome everybody to Meet the Artist. My name is Keisha Willingham and we have the pleasure today of being in Slow Art Gallery, uh, downtown Slow. So if you ever have a chance to come by, please do. We're going to be doing several um, artist interviews today, but first we're going to be talking with Hilda. This is her artwork right here. And, um, and I'm going to let her pronounce her last name because I will butcher it. So, Hilda, tell us your last name. <laughs> My last name is Freire. <laughs> okay, so what nationality is that? I am from Peru. Oh, Peru? Yeah, I am from Peru, from uh, Italian, uh, Spanish, Peruvian. Awesome. Nice! Uh, very nice combination. <laughs> ah, so, and then we were talking earlier and you said you have been here for a year. Yes. So how has your experience been? In slow. Are you in slow? I am in Pismo. Okay. Yeah, I'm in Pismo Beach and we moved about here and a few months ago and I love the area and I love the San Luis Obispo because I love the art and the art that just I need to explore more. <laughs> yeah, it's a very creative area, like in general. Yes. Uh, but I feel like it's also kind of suitable for artists, right? Yeah. Like, there's it feels a, like your yeah. artists are welcome to the city. Yeah. 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 yeah, I agree with you. So tell me a little bit about your history. So I um, I started painting when I moved to Mexico in 1998. And I was waiting for a work permit so I couldn't move. And then I so what else are you going to do? Yeah, so I started, I had to paint a little bit in Peru when I lived there. And so I was like, I'm going to do that. And I started with pastels. And then I transitioned to oils, which is my favorite. That's my favorite now. So what is, so did you have any formal training? No, not really. Yeah, I had a few classes there and I also took a few classes. Yes, you have heart. I love art. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel it in my soul. <laughs> so, I love that. Because I know that a lot of artists have a huge, like, art history background or have other things as far as training goes, like, yeah. training. And, uh, and I love to speak with artists that, like, it's just what I do, right? Yes, and uh, so... So, bearing that in mind, what uh, advice would you give a new artist? Uh, dream. <laughs> right? Always dream of what you can do, what you feel inside you, what you want to be. Because I think dreams are very important for the develop whatever you want to do. You can just imagine. Yes. Right? Yeah. Just yeah. imagine what it would be like to have your exactly showing in a wall, right? Like a right, and then oh hey, maybe it sells. Ooh, yeah, right. No. I, um, I remember when I first moved to the I was living in Metro, and I saw a flyer for Octopop, and I told my friend, I said, you know, one day I want to do this, and I want to be there, and I did. So, yeah, I mean, it took some years, but. I was persistent with my dream. Right. Yeah. Well, sometimes I think that I, and maybe this is true for all of the artists, but uh, I feel like sometimes once uh, an idea gets hold of you, uh, you can't help but move towards it. Yeah. You know? yeah. I, mean, I mean, you could totally just be like that, but I think that even without being conscious yeah. that they, you're still moving. So how does that work for you? So you at Slow Gallery, uh, we have a lot of artists here. Um, what? Um, how has it been for you, like finding your people, right? Finding your. Uh, it, it's been a little difficult because uh, first I'm work. I'm still working full time from home, and and then. There was COVID, so people would 
go away. So you moved here in the middle of COVID? Yes, we did. We couldn't, wow. stand, we couldn't stand being up north without a notion. Uh, we we needed open space. Yeah, for sure. So for that's sure. what we did. It, it did a lot of things, yeah. right? Like, <laughs> yeah. It did a lot of so things. So it was perfect. So, yeah. And then, you know, I have a lot of snow boundary. I'm going to do that. Nice. How did you hear about it? I think it was an email that I saw. Oh, it wasn't. It was one of those right, Fridays. Oh, right. Art yes. Walk, right. Uh, yeah. It was like first Friday. First Friday. Or right. Or art after dark or something art, like that. Right. Yeah. Because yes, they do those so, every. Yeah. So I, I came here and I spoke with Roger. Okay. And then we we agreed to meet after. Well, the few weeks. How it happened. Yay! That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, your wall looks great. Thank you. Um, do you have anything you could do? I'd like you seem to paint before you came to the U.S. Not too much, just a little bit. What made that happen? So besides the fact that you didn't have anything else to do, yeah. what pulled you towards painting? Well, it's always been a dream of mine. Okay. When I was when but then you know reality kind of sinks and my parents say, Well, I'm not sure what you meant to survive. Right. Reality, that's so that's blah, blah, blah. Well I'm gonna starve. Isn't that like <laughs> isn't that part of the deal, right? A starving artist, like it's in the title. Like <laughs> that's, that's what I'm gonna do. So anyway, you know, that's it it, it was something that I always wanted to do. But I just had the time. Right. And I, a lot of times that's a big part. Of yeah, it, it was perfect. Yeah. And then I, I took up the bus on the side of the bus. I was sitting there. I met more people than I was doing art, and then it just one thing led to the other. And I felt very, very fortunate that you know, I was able to pursue what I did. Nice. I put a lot. Right. But the one thing that you said was, I always dreamed of being an artist. Yeah. So, like, that ties into, you know, like, telling people that to just drink again. Yeah. And that if it has hold of you, yeah. like, no matter what, you're going to move towards it. Exactly. Yeah. So, so that's awesome. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so now I paint every time I can, you know, on the weekends, or I, I, I like to draw at night. Okay, yeah. So, like, well, because it's a little less. Yeah. Right? But that's where you can do your planning, right? Exactly. And you're sketching. Yes. I do my sketching, out and I, I look at sometimes like photos, which bring memories. Right. And Stirs up emotions. Yes. Yeah. It's perfect. Nice. So do you have anything else you would like to share with um, I just feel grateful just for you and everyone's doing consistently what they want and sure you know some, some artists say, Well yeah. I only do a little bit when I start to paint or sculpt or whatever. I don't think it is yeah. so much. So I agree with that. Uh, I know. Gosh, I wish I could remember this quote, but it, the I, the idea was, you know, it really is. It's like twenty percent talent and eighty percent passion. Passion, and then the will to just stand in front of your easel and and throw some paint on. Because people say, well, you maybe. Are you inspired? And I said, sometimes I'm really not, but once I'm there, when I see the paint on my palette, and I just want to do something. <laughs> right. And sometimes all it takes is just putting something on yeah. the canvas yeah. and moving it around, yeah. and something will show up, an inspiration, a memory, a photo, like something will show up to yeah. produce. Um, the other, I mean, like a technical, thing that I, I love, I started doing some years ago, is I'm using a palette knife that is gray. Oh. I love it. So. It's less intimidating, and the colors, you know, they just look that's, really well. That's a, that's a really, I mean, that kind of makes sense to me. Yeah. Uh, 
because of the contrast of a white palette, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. White palette knife. Yeah. And a gray knife means you can really pay more attention to like color. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, I love color. Oh, I love that. I love color. Mm -hmm. That's a great tip, people. People have said that. Great palette know, knife. Colorist, so I really yeah. like color. Yeah, that's a, that's really, well, because it's neutral mm -hmm. and, it, and it's not mm -hmm. obtrusive, so. Yeah. That's a really good tip. Yeah. So what's your next big dream? What's the next thing you want to oh, do? I want to be more active. Okay. In the community. I have social business. Yeah, I want to have a social yeah. show. Yeah. Be able to interact with people. Listen, people are you fine? Are you able to like? So being in the gallery here, you have uh, uh, you're surrounded by a lot of artists. Yeah, it's great, so, right? Yeah. And then you get an opportunity to um, connect in and talk in their scripts. Right. right. Exactly. So that's my helpful, right? Yeah. So to get more involved. Yes, get more involved. Um, yeah, I agree. <laughs> I'm vegetable natural <laughs> recently myself too. Uh, we need to do it together. I, I just need to be surrounded. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Because when you're surrounded by artists or by people, there is an extra yeah. thing that happens, you know, I think the juice is just... <laughs> I do too. Yeah, yeah. I agree. It's really good. Well, thank you. Thank that you. was awesome. Yes, thank you. Sure. I, I appreciate this, and I learned something, so <laughs> I'm super excited. I'm like, oh, great color knife. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> it's so funny how little, like, a thing like that can change mm -hmm. an artist's life. Like, it really can, right? Because yeah. it, it may be the one like area that they struggle with but yeah. like just yeah. having a new idea of like oh i'm just gonna try this and it's yeah. just like yeah. it can be very intimidating to look yeah. at a white yeah. the same as looking at a white yeah. like this right yeah. yeah sometimes i put like an undercoat oh that's this yeah so that the white right it's, it's not like too. Oh, that's a good idea mm -hmm. too, right? Yeah. So you just mm -hmm. have something softer and mm -hmm. less. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's smart. Do you have good lighting in yours too? Yeah, I do. I, I bought recently a lot of uh, lamps because the light is okay. I mean, people would say that's the best light, no, but because I love the bright colors, I need a bit of a hard light. Yeah. I think similar to this. Yeah. Well, we have a ring. Two of them. Yeah, and then I have a, sure it's a, yeah. a true light lamp. Oh, right, a true and, color, right? Yeah, and I mix it yeah. with one that is the warm. Right. Yeah, because like really the true ones can be really kind of cool. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so I have one on each side. Yeah. And this part is fun to <laughs> my my studio lighting is the four room. Yeah. I can give you the names of the so I got, it. I got all kinds of lighting going on, but I wish it were more like solid texture. Yeah. You know I mean? yeah. uh, so I mean, I got light in there and it and it works, yeah. but I wish I could just go in and turn the light on and it would be that. If I yeah, I would, I would like that too, but yeah. it's not happening. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you just make it happen though, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You're very welcome. welcome.